Hi everyone, how are you? Kumusta? Hello, Seth Koso here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this simple treasures made of clay, pendants, ceramics. They look like found jewels. But anyway, I just want to show you a quick glance of Lakeshore Drive. It's winter time. I woke up February 1st, 2021. There's a foot snow. There's like 10 inches, 12 inches of snow and I almost got stuck yesterday. But anyway, this is Lakeshore Drive in Chicago and it's beautiful. The buildings are getting taller and taller. It's a quick glance of the sky and this is pandemic Chicago style Lakeshore Drive and it's beautiful. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to click subscribe, share, comment, and thumbs up. So here are the gems or the clay or the glazes or whatever you think it is. It's uh, very colorful, very shiny, very cute, and it's very fun to make. Um, I play around with uh, glazes. Put a little glass, a broken glass on top and a drop of clear uh, glaze and that's what it looked like before firing. So here's the one with chain. I found some sale from Michaels. They have a 75% sale. They're closing out a store downtown and I also put some loops. Those are silver or colored silver loops. And uh, that is also part of one of my video if you want to see how to make the, the loops. Some of them are just uh, regular uh, strings. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe, comment. The rest of the video, you see me how I mix some uh, black stain on my clay, mixed it, wedged it, and that's what I use for some of the clay pendants here i'm showing some of the uh, necklaces that i got from michael's and that's another video if you want more detail on how to make the loops and here we go this is the black stain i mix with the white clay and i wedge it thoroughly make sure you wear your gloves because it can be unhealthy and i uh, use my rolling pin Put some texture laces and I, I use a tiny cookie cutter to shape my pendants they have multiple shapes from pear shape oval shape and flowers and they're so easy to use and very handy now I have to uh, put plastic on top of the clay to press on the cookie cutter on top and that will make the edges smoother easy to clean Now I'm trying to make a tiny loop using a noodle, tiny noodle, and attach it on the area where I am trying to create the loop. And again, this is paper clay, so it sticks really well. So I'm creating a circular shape using the, the stick, the bamboo stick, and so far it works really well.
Here are the samples of finished necklaces with the chain that I got from Michael's. And this is the, after glazing, cleaning up the edges uh, using water and sponge, making sure no glazes underneath. And so it will not, it will not get stuck on the tray. So I used the drip tray and now you're seeing me put some clear glaze on those broken glass. So I'm being careful not to drip anything because at this time I already cleaned the edges of the the pendants.